Uh, my name is Alexandra Korcheva. I'm from Bulgaria. I'm a former member of parliament and this is my first time in India. Uh, which places are uh, still visited? Well, we visited uh, New Delhi, we visited Agra and the Taj Mahal, of course, the Red Fort, uh, and we visited Bhubaneswar. Uh, we went to, the, to a lot of museums there, including the Maritime Museum, and today we visit the Konak Sun Temple, which was a dream of mine, because I have read a lot about it. Uh, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and when I saw it in my own eyes, I was uh, pretty astounded by it. So, I had an expectation about India because I have read a lot about your culture, about your history. I know uh, Indian people in Bulgaria, so I've always had the respect for the culture. But now, uh, when I saw it with my own eyes, when I experienced it, the warmth, the kindness, the hospitality, the, the, the unrepeatable way of life that you have, it's amazing. You know, I'm utterly amazed. Well, I was feeling really humbled. When I saw this majestic temple, when I saw all the all the detailed cravings, uh, carvings there, I was, I was simply astounded. How could these guys have done it in such a long time, and how could it preserve itself so well? So this for me is is uh, something amazing. Yes. So uh, our country, Bulgaria, is uh, we are a Greek Orthodox. So we actually we have our Easter today. So happy Easter, um, and we are a people with a lot of traditions too. Uh, our traditions are kind of different, but still I managed to find some really close patterns, for example, some patterns in, in clothing we have in common, we have in common the, the wonderful dances because we saw some cultural programs as well, uh, um, so we love to dance too, uh, and uh, both countries we have our traditions and uh, we are really rich in them, so this is something that we have in common and that, that I think Bulgaria can take away from India to protect its traditions and cherish them. Thank you very much, thank you. All right, let me first of all say I am a member of parliament of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. Guyana is a small country in South America and I am very pleased and privileged to be in India. As you may know, during the time of indentured immigrants, my four parents were actually from India. They were taken to Guyana by the uh, rulers of the time, which were the British and they were taken mainly to plant rice and sugarcane and so on so my heritage my background is really um, I have an identity with India and being here really is about connecting with my identity even though I don't know the language I don't know the culture it's my first time here it's a privilege knowing that my four parents what came from here after visiting several places, several... Exceptional. Places. It is exceptional. India is a beautiful country. India is a strong democracy. India is a healthy democracy. And the hospitality of the people of India is remarkable. I can't help but say thank you for a wonderful stay. And this Gen Next Democracy program is one that I hope India will continue. Which places... Uh most attractive? Bhuvaneshwar, Odisha. The hospitality from the time we landed at the airport and we saw the people and how hospitable they were and they were all smiling, adoration, gratitude. It was exceptional. I don't think I ever ever gotten it anywhere else and I've traveled a lot. What, what about Punar? What about where we were just now where they, um, they oh that, 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 that um, temple? Fantastic, and they said that there was one there that was actually bigger than that one. And then we're going to uh, Jagannath Temple, looking forward for that also. But the Guyanese delegation, I know, are very, very welcoming uh, to, they very appreciate this welcome that they have gotten. And we visiting uh, heritages, um, how is it feeling like? Like I belong here. It feels like I belong here. It feels like I shouldn't go back home. <laughs> it's a wonderful experience, a wonderful experience. India is a lovely country and I wish them well and I wish for them to continue this good work that they are doing and to keep it up and preserve our heritage and very good, very good, very good.